I'm going to change the way you think about cooking brown rice. The biggest gripe about brown rice is that it takes too long to cook, which of course is true. It takes 45 minutes or so, which makes it sort of impractical if you're looking to get dinner on the table in a half hour. But there's a great technique I've developed that can let you put brown rice on the table in 30 minutes or so. The key is a little bit of forethought. You take your raw brown rice the day before, the night before, the morning before, three days before for that matter, and you parboil it. What's that mean? It means you boil it. And you boil it for 10 or 15 minutes, at which point you drain it. It looks like this, partially cooked brown rice that you can treat essentially the same as you would white rice. And I'm going to make a more or less standard pilaf with it right now to show you that it'll cook in 15 minutes. So this is a no-brainer. You have to have adequate water. The rice should be covered by a couple inches. You want it boiling away. The water should be salted. And the timing, you do it by timing. 15 minutes is fine. The ingredients here are quite simple. The parboiled brown rice, some onion, olive oil. We'll finish with a little parsley and the all-important chicken stock. We're going to cook the brown rice in the olive oil. First cook the onion in the olive oil, then add the brown rice, some salt and pepper in the stock, cover that, walk away for 15 minutes. Voila, as they used to say. Olive oil in the pan. This is a standard pilaf. Some chopped onion. You can add garlic, you can add herbs, do pretty much whatever you want here. Keeping it very simple just to demonstrate that the brown rice will cook fast once it's parboiled. When the onion softens a bit, we dump in the parboiled brown rice. And we want to coat every kernel with oil, which is not as hard as it sounds. You cook it stirring for a minute or so and it gets done. Once that's done, you add your stock, which should be warm all at once. And you can use water, fruit juice, a wine mixed with stock, almost any liquid you want here. The smell of brown rice cooking is so great. One stir. If the stock was warm to begin with, it's going to come to a boil right away. Turn to a simmer. Cover. 15 minutes, maybe 20, until all the liquid's absorbed, and you're done. There are three kinds of brown rice. All brown rice is whole grain. You start with this. This is short grain brown rice. So it's like Arborio or Valencia or Japanese rice. A lot of it's grown in California, and it has the same characteristics as short grain white rice, which is to say it can be a little sticky, it can be a little creamy, you can use it for risotto, it's nice stuff. Over here, we have long grain brown rice. The best of these, just like the best long grain white rice, is basmati. So if you can find the basmati strain of long grain brown rice, you're really in business. Finally, there are these odd specialty brown rices, and they're called wahani, or they're called red for sort of obvious reasons. Sometimes they're black, they're purple. They're all different shades of dark. So those are your three choices. Short grain rice, specialty rice, long grain rice. What they have in common is that each of them will take 45 minutes to an hour if you cook them from scratch. But we're not cooking them from scratch. So it's been 15 minutes, I kid you not. The liquid's absorbed, the rice is hot, and it's done, perfectly cooked. With a little forethought, you cook it for a while beforehand, you finish it while you're cooking dinner. You gotta try this technique.